Happy Halloween, friends and neighbors. So today we have an episode for you that's just a little spooky. What we're gonna be using is an invertebrate, and I know you've heard of it, crickets. Specifically, we're gonna be making crickets in guac as well as crickets on a log. The crickets on a log you'll see are very simple. It's just gonna be celery, peanut butter, crickets, and some various toppings. But this really doesn't need any further introduction, so without further ado, let's head on inside. Schmitty. Now for the next part, we're going to get the crickets. Now they've been in the freezer already for about an hour and a half. And so that's what you want to do to, well, kill them. So the way we got the crickets is I went to a reptile show, but if you find a, any type of pet store really that sells crickets in bulk, they're the same crickets you would eat anywhere else. They're just crickets. What you do is you keep them in the box, you put them in the freezer for about 40 minutes to an hour, and this just lowers their metabolism until they go unconscious, and then it lowers it further until they die. Um, I've already had them in the freezer, now it's to keep them chilled, I have them in the fridge. The next step that you'll want to do is you need to get them out and wash them. So we're going to just wash them in a colander because they are moving around in there, or they were moving around in there. They might have bits of like dirt, food, excrement on them. So it's best just to sort of sift them through. We're going to pour them out and then rinse them. So I'm just gonna sift them around to try to get out any of the dried bits of food, um, their poop. It's all dry, so you'll see it. it I mean, when you do it yourself, it sifts right out. Now, I ordered a thousand crickets. There's some that I lost into the sink when I was pouring them in, but you'll see a thousand crickets is not that much um, in terms of size and quantity. So, That's why it's not always sustainable to eat them as you know whole meals very often, at least not where we're from here in the US. But then you're just going to rinse them off. Off, I would say use warm water. Next, you need to dry your crickets. So I'm just gonna spread them out on a paper towel on their baking tray. Spread them out. Oh yeah. Spread them out really good. And then, then I'm just going to try to dab them with a the towel, soak up that moisture. You said the magic word. Moisture. Moist. <laughs> so you want the you want the crickets to be dry, but the towel to be nice and moist afterwards. We're gonna get at least one per episode. <laughs> We're gonna add some vegetable oil to this pan. Quite a bit actually. The pan's already heated up. Up and then we're going to take the rest of these crickets and we're just going to add them in. And we're just gonna saute them up. gonna saute them, I'm gonna add a little bit, just a tad bit of pepper, and I'm going to get some salt to add to them. Now to begin making some of the topping for the crickets on a log, we're going to melt some chocolate. So we got Toll House, you can use any type of chocolate. We're using milk chocolate because it'll be a little sweeter than just semi-sweetened. And the way we're doing this is we have a pot with, some, with just enough water in it that it doesn't touch the bottom of the glass bowl we put on top. So we are going to steam it because if you put it on direct heat, you're much more likely to burn the chocolate. But, so this will just slowly melt it. And we're not going to need all that much. So I'm just going to add a little bit because we're just going to drizzle it on top. The crickets should be done. They're starting to brown. Um, they're gonna be hot, but I wanna feel one. Yeah, they're getting quite crunchy. That's, that's where we want them, all right. all right. So I'm going to let 
Actually, I'm gonna try to pour off some of this oil and then just let them cool for a minute. Because there's a lot of oil here and we don't need all that. I'm trying not to lose my crickets. Is that like a new saying? What? Is that like the same thing as not losing your mind? Not losing your marbles and trying not to lose my crickets? Yeah. I'll lose my mind if I lose my crickets. We can begin assembling the crickets on a log. Like so. We're gonna do one here with creamy peanut butter, actually. What we're going to do is we're going to cut this in half. If we'll make but four individual ones. So first, peanut butter. And we're just going to spread, we want a kind of a thin layer in there. Or thin enough. You can do it by eyeball. However much peanut butter you like. We're gonna have some peanut butter in each of these stalks of celery. <laughs> I think you just won flip cut. Just gonna scoop these crickets into a bowl for easy use because this pan is going to still be hot. So these are the fried ones that just had salt and pepper. They're nice and crunchy. And these are just going to have a line of crickets marching. Like ants on a log, but crickets on a log. Things that pair well with peanut butter. Honey. Oh, yeah. Oh. Honey. A few crickets around it for garnish. They didn't make it on the log. No, they didn't. They drowned. Also, what goes well with peanut butter is a little bit of curry powder. Just like so. of them couldn't handle the curry, so they're kind of just around. Can't handle the heat, get out of my kitchen. The last thing we're putting on is a little bit of chocolate. Now, it's not nearly as melted as it could or should be, but what really matters here is the flavor. So a little bit of just melted chocolate right around there. Just so you can bite in and get some of that flavor with it because we know the chocolate has a strong flavor, so we don't need that much. Chocolate covered crickets in general is also a very good uh, idea if you want to cook. Just a little schmear. It's enough to appreciate the chocolate. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, we're going to try some crickets. So this one has curry powder, uh, CMR says honey, and Schmidt's has chocolate, which is the least aesthetically pleasing one, but the chocolate didn't melt like we thought it would. So, everybody, grab your log. Did we, did we touch logs? Yes, let's, let's touch <laughs> logs. Nice. And cheers. Cheers. Honest opinions only. What do we think? I like it. Yeah? It's staring right There's at me. There's a cricket. <laughs> That's awkward. This curry powder is really good. Mm. Curry powder is really good on here. If you eat the plain crickets, 
It's just crunchy, a little nutty. Mine obviously have curry, but they also have salt. They're, they're salty for obvious reasons. Salty salmon. Well, they did just get fried, so I, I'd, I'd With be, salt. I'd be kind of salty <laughs> about that too. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> they're all hot and bothered. <laughs> so, I don't know, what do you guys think? Try, here, see, try a plain one. Just try a plain cricket. I think it's great. Sorry, little buddy. I can't. Come on, you got it. Come on. <laughs> okay. Just close your eyes. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Chew. Don't hatch. Okay, it's not bad. Uh huh. I told you. Okay. It's fine. It's delicious. It's fine, he says. Yeah, no legs in my teeth, so we're good. <laughs> yeah, everyone's always afraid of getting legs in their teeth. It's never happened to me. They just all fall apart in your mouth, like just the cricket. They're just crunchy, mm -hmm. dehydrated. Do you want to try the honey one? I do want to try the honey one, yes. Hmm. I like that one. Too. Yeah, not bad. So lastly, take a little chili powder. Get some on the crickets. And give them just a touch of cumin. And then I'm just gonna toss them up a bit. Toss them around in there. Get that seasoning on them. No, oh, escape. Got a few strays. <laughs> it's now. We're going to put a thin layer of this guacamole we made on the chips. And then that we just load it up with crickets. Nice little cricks and guac. Cricks and guac. <laughs> Eating cricks down by the crick. People really hate when I sometimes say creek is crick. Yeah. It's, it's not often. <laughs> sometimes the people around me rub off on me and it comes out as crick. And then I get a weird look. I'm like, sorry. And I normally say creek. All right. All right. Who's ready for... Some crickets and guac. It's like the yellow brick road. The yellow it's brick road crickets. of crickets. It's crickets. It's cumin covered crickets. It looks like they're cumin right off the plate. <laughs> crickets, guacamole, and corn chips. And now we taste test. I like it. I think it works incredibly, incredibly well. We got crunchiness from the crickets and the chip. The guac tastes good. There is a bite in there from that pepper. Mm -hmm. I'm actually really glad that came through because I didn't think it did when I was just trying the guac originally. And yeah, I don't know, it just really works well. The, the chili powder and cumin on the crickets. This came out well. <laughs> it was kind of a process, especially for the other parts with the uh, crickets on the log, but this came out well. Anything to add? Good job. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> appreciate it. All right, well, we appreciate you all joining us for another episode of What's in My Kitchen. Um, we'll see what comes next. Stay tuned.